all of you here today, the men and women who have served, and the best and brightest of tomorrow. The annals of naval aviation history are rich. It was, however, during World War II that the full capability of naval air power was realized. The Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, watch them come and dive them down. Watch them roll the airplane upside down. He'll pull again. Let's see if he can do four split S maneuvers all the way. Oh, look at that. He's just inscribed a figure eight in the sky. He rolls it upside down. This airplane is a hybrid. It has the fuselage and tail of a Cap 231 French-built aerobatic aircraft. And look at this. Leveling out just 100 feet above. No, 50 feet above the ground. He did it. body weight. As he does, watch him do the spiraling tower on the upline, ascending the shoulder roll. Now he'll hang it right there. Watch him swap in. Point the nose right back down. The quick roll and a half into the upright position. This French-built fuselage from the Catholic
580. Every riddle started on December 17th, just 22 years after the Wright Brothers' first flight. It was 1925 that Every Riddle Aeronautical University started in Cincinnati, Ohio. Now with over 130 campuses and on the web, in addition to the Prescott, Ar the Prescott Arizona campus. Over 35,000 graduates have earned their degrees from Embry-Riddle. Power comes off. This is a tail slide. Everything's reversed. Watch for the inverted recovery. See the airplane fall as the smoke gap pushed out from the wing. The airplane is not flying for that split second. hard on the right rudder pedal, now going into sliding flight, pushes the stick forward into the inverted flat spin, now watch him, recover, recover, pushing power, now he goes right side up, continues to roll his airplane around, the Thunderbolt engine built by Lycoming of Williamsport, Pennsylvania, the Hartzell propeller from the Hartzell Propeller Company of Piqua, Ohio. That Hartzell Propeller Company dates back to 1970. When Hartzell Lumber Company was asked by the Hartzell Propeller for the first military flyer. There's a 9G pull. Whoa, boy. He gets down. Pulls straight up. A very, very violent pull. A quick recovery points him right down toward the trees. And his smoke is off. And he'll be bringing it in for landing very, very soon. I hope you'll join me in a big Oceana round of applause for Matt Chapman in the Every Riddle. Aaron out of the University of Eagle 580. <laughs> One, two. Boom, way up. Now, I think what you're going to be able to do is to watch him as he sets up. You know, I think what we're going to do, we're going to see another pass. He's not done yet. Get your cameras ready, because my guess is he's going to put it up on one wing. You'll be able to see the top of the Eagle 580, and then you'll be able to see him rotate at 180 degrees of roll. See the bottom, too. There's the top. Sets every riddle, and there's the bottom. Sets every riddle. Flies for American Airlines, living in Pennsylvania. Does his quick snap roll across the line, one and a half to the inverted point roll. Another three order snap, another snap roll. Does a little kick runner to kick there to say goodbye. And this, this is the kind of figure that he would fly in a freestyle performance for aerobatic judges. And he has won so many aerobatic competitions again on the world aerobatic team twice, both in Slovakia and uh, also in, uh, in London, I believe it was, and two different uh, members on the team. And one of those years, he was the highest placing U.S. pilot in, uh, on the team in those World Aerobatic Championships. Let's check the smoke, see if he's going to bring it into land right now. I believe he is. And he may do a little cross-controlling, putting one wing down. He's kicking back and forth so he can look. So watch him there. He's cross-controlling so he can get a good view of the taxiway to land on. Oh, look at this. He's not going to land it. Watch this. Oh, boy. Snap rolling. Rolling the airplane down in the air and climbing, climbing, climbing. He was all set to land and inside. Not going to have a little more fun with all of you here. Look at that. How about that? That's what a radio control pilot would be doing with his airplane. And he's doing it for the jail. What an incredible demonstration. pilot, as I told you earlier, believes he became a better fixed wing pilot because he was a good radio control pilot. And if you're interested in radio control, you can check on uh, 
Great Plains Manufacturer, your check your local hobby store because you can get into the hobby for a couple of hundred bucks with a, a ready to fly or an ARF, an almost ready to fly uh, uh, radio controlled model. Very simple and a great way to enjoy stuff as an adult or adults and kids or kids and adults, whatever it happens to be. It's a great, great hobby. Well, we're going to do a little checking of the field here for a couple of minutes, and in just about 10 minutes, we're going to be bringing on your United States Navy Blue Angels. Has this day gone quickly for all of you? Yeah, it has flown by. We started at 10 o'clock. It's about nine minutes until three, and if you want to grab something to eat, the Blue, Blue Angels are going to take the stage straight up at three o'clock. So if you want to grab something to eat or something to drink, uh, you might just be able to get one uh, in time to, to grab something and get back to your seats to see this great show. This appears to me, ladies and gentlemen, to be a record crowd here at Oceana. I don't think in the past five years that I've been doing the show that I've ever seen it quite this Tech from Sharp. They incorporate Sharp's breakthrough quad pixel technology, so check out Sharp. We also want to thank the folks from Hall Automotive. Thank you. Hampton Roads Hall Automotive is your car buying destination with thousands of new and used vehicles, a friendly staff, and unbeatable prices. There's just no competition. Call 800-242-HALL or click hallauto.com. Way to go, Matt Chapman, representing Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. 